Yes, it is me, Brian Redgrave, here with an unboxing of the Bleach 2018 live action movie on Blu ray. This is a Japanese import. This was never released over here ever. This movie has been stuck in Netflix hell since it was licensed here in North America. If you don't know me, I hate that. I love to be able to buy movies I like. And I watch Bleach 2018. I'm a massive, massive Bleach fan. If you don't know this about me. Um, real huge Bleach fan. I mean, my first tattoo was a Bleach tattoo. I really just fucking love Bleach. Like, I, I do. I honestly, Bleach is something of mine that I fucking love. It's, I, I like watching anime. In general, I love watching anime, but Bleach has always been one of my top favorites. If maybe not my favorite. It's probably up there with Dragon Ball, at least for me. So, I watched Bleach 2018 when it first came out on Netflix. I haven't watched it since. Um, and I remember enjoying it, liking it, and I, I, I you know, said to myself, well, whenever this comes out on Blu-ray, I'll buy it. Here we are, 2023. I never had a Blu-ray release. Not here in North America. It did in Japan a long, long time ago. This is actually a Christmas present from my mother from this past Christmas that just happened. Um, yeah, probably the best present I got. <laughs> I guess I love Bleach, and to be able to own this, it's, it's a big deal for me. Like I guess I love being able to own stuff I, I like. I Movies like Prey, that are only on Hulu and stuff like that. You know, I love to be able to buy shit, and it pisses me off. When they don't release them and they're just kind of stuck. So, this is Bleach 2018. We're going to unbox it. Like I said, I got this for Christmas. I've not opened it since. I wanted to do a video on it. But I've been doing things. And I've done other videos. And I've been busy. And I've not wanted to open it since. So then I can watch it after I, after I open it. So let's unbox this bad boy. Bleach. I see it's just called Bleach because it's just based on Bleach, but we'll call it Bleach the movie or Bleach 2018. Just to, you know, understand what we're talking about. So let's take this plastic off. Let's see what we got here. Let's throw this plastic away. And this comes right off. Okay, nice. So, first things first, the cover, which I've already shown. I like this cover. We got Byakuya, Uryu, Ichigo, Rukia, and Renji. For the most part, like I said, I've not watched it. I've not rewatched this film since I watched it in 2018. I remember liking Byakuya quite a lot in this film. I remember liking the movie quite a lot. There's Ichigo. Um, there were some differences between this and the anime differences that didn't bother me like i felt like the movie made uh graham fisher a bigger deal than the anime does and that makes sense to me considering that graham fisher is responsible for ichigo's mom's death that's a change like it made sense to me and i also like the fight with byakuya and 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 um i mean renji and all that stuff i like uh all that and it, it made me excited for the, a sequel which here we are what four or five years later we haven't had that sequel, so I don't know if we ever will. So let's take this right here. And there's this little paper with steps. Steps to something. I don't know Japanese. <laughs> I don't know what this means. So let's take that. And here we got, we got Ichigo and Rukia back to back. And then in the back... We once have, we have Byakuya, Renji, and Uri. I guess I, I remember liking this Byakuya quite a lot. And Renji and all them. And here we go. Here are the disc. The movie's on Blu-ray. And then it says special features on DVD. That's an interesting decision. The movie's on Blu-ray. Special features on a DVD. I mean, what? <laughs> why? Why? That's a little weird. So let's take the disc off because there is an image behind all this. And it's Uriu and Ichigo. That's pretty cool. Like I said, it's interesting. Movie on Blu-ray. Awesome. Special features DVD. So if I want to watch these special features, though, 
I don't know if I can. I don't even really 100% know if this will work on my uh, player because, for example, the DVD has a Region 2 a logo. The movie doesn't have anything suggesting Region 2. So I will make sure that this works and I'll put it at the end of the video if in case you are curious about buying this yourself. So that's where the movie is. That's cool. And here we got this little booklet, it seems like. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It says Bleach right here. And Bleach in the back with Ichigo holding his Sampacto. So, okay. Obviously, I do not know Japanese. <laughs> so I won't be able to read any of this to you. But essentially, here we got Ichigo, a hollow. I uh, I can I can tell you it says introduction here. I can tell you that. So we got some more images from the movie. I, I, I believe that was the movie's Grand Fisher, if I remember correctly. Like I said, I remember enjoying this movie, and I, I definitely want to rewatch it. Here we got Ichigo Kurosaki, Rukia Kuchki, and Uryu Ishida. And like I said, two people I thought were pretty badasses when I watched the film were Byakuya Kuchki and Renji Abadai. I mean, they look like two badasses. Like, they could whoop your ass. And then the rest of the cast, Orihime Inoue, Yasutura Sado, Kisuke Urahara, Masaki Kurosaki, and Ishin Kurosaki. Which, if I remember correctly, I don't know about the rest... But I remember for sure, uh, Chad and Orihime really did do shit in this film. I can tell you that. So then we got, uh, it says Bleach. I cannot read the rest of this. It almost feels like it's a guide to the movie or the events of the movie. It seems like it's a, a timeline of sorts. Again, it's in Japanese. <laughs> this is really cool as a collector's item. But if you are looking to read this, well, guess what? I'm, I'm not reading anything of this. Production notes, again, all in Japanese. Bunch of images at the top and the bottom. And we got the film director, uh, Shins Shinsuke, Shinsuke Sato. I'm, uh, I'm assuming it's pronounced Shinsuke Sato. And then original comic of Taite Kubo, which is who created Bleach to begin with. And then people who worked on the film, the crew. And we got a special interview with Alexandros. Okay, I can tell you Alexandros was the band that played the theme song for this movie. It was called Mosquito Bite, if I recall. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Mosquito Bite. Yes. I actually like that song. Especially the chorus. It's in the trailers. It's the theme song of the movie. Okay, so that was pretty cool and pretty dope. And there's one more thing to look at here. Actually, I can put away this. Whatever this piece of paper was. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if this does anything for anybody. But if it does, hey, go right ahead. If it does anything, I mean, there's a QR code right there. I don't know. Not sure what that does. But this is pretty cool. There's one more thing to look at in here. Again, this is pretty fucking dope. I guess uh, I'm a massive Bleach fan. Uh, the Thousand Year Blood War it is currently in Hulu. Which it took years to get done and it finally happened. I have not been able to watch the last few because I have not been able to pay my Hulu. <laughs> and then we got right here, we got Ichigo Kurosaki. We got Rukia Kushiki. Try to keep this in the order that they came. Uryu Ishida. Renji Abadai. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, guys. So we got Ichigo. And this is actually a picture of Ichigo behind this. And like I said, Rukia. And then we have a picture behind this. I did not notice that until now. 
We got Udi, like I said, and there's a picture of him behind this. I only really noticed because when I picked up the Renji one, there was a picture behind it. And then you got Renji Abadai. I like Renji in the anime. He's really good. Like I guess I remember enjoying him in this movie. I feel like Byaku is a badass. For sure. One of my favorite Bleach characters. I love uh, Byakuya's character, his fighting style, his personality, the way he comes across, the way he presents himself. I feel like uh, he's definitely one of anime's best characters. And uh, whatever this is, signed, maybe from the director, or maybe, I don't know, not sure. But yeah, so that's, that's the Blu-ray of Bleach 2018. The movie, the live action film. Like I said, uh, finally, years later, I can say I own this. No thanks to Netflix or North America. Because, like I said, we can never get the cool shit. It's, I remember enjoying, like I said, I will rewatch this movie. And I remember enjoying the movie. This is all based on four-year-old memories. I remember um, liking the movie quite a lot. But it wasn't my favorite anime live action adaption. It didn't make that to me. I still think the Rurouni Kenshin live action films are superb and probably the definitive, you know, at least to me, best live action movies based on an anime or manga. There were subtle, there were subtle changes here and there, but nothing mind blowing, big or something. It was honestly quite faithful, quite enjoyable. It's something that was so good that I feel like even non anime watchers would enjoy. I, so if you've never seen a Rurouni Kenshin movie. The live action movie or the anime. It's definitely watch the anime. But if you're not into anime, I feel like the, the live action Rudy Kenshin films are so well done. Even a non anime or manga fan could enjoy them. I can't say the same about this one. This is the lore and all that. I feel like this is really more for a Bleach fan. I don't know if a non Bleach fan would enjoy the Bleach movie. That's a strict one. I don't know about that one. But yeah, uh, I'm struggling here to put these back with care and love. I want this to be put in here right. Whew, finally, there we go. So, yeah. Are you a Bleach fan? Did you even know this existed? Now that you know, would you hunt it down? Or are you one of those people who are like, oh, it's on Netflix. I watch it. I can watch it there. And I don't need to own it. Like, where do you stand? And not just Bleach, but in that in general. Movies that go streaming and they don't release on Blu-ray, 4K or whatever. Because I don't like that at all. But yeah, this has been my unboxing of the Bleach uh, live action movie 2018 Blu-ray. Um, let me know what you thought about this movie when it first came out. Have you watched it multiple times? Did you, like me, watched it once, liked it, but haven't watched it again? Now that this is open, I will pop it in. Make sure the, the Blu-ray is works despite coming from Japan. Like, th like I said, this is an import. This isn't from around here. But yeah, I, I love the box completely. I love everything in it. I love the, the cards, the book, everything. I honestly think this is a really well done box set. Makes the movie feel even more impressive. Uh, let's be honest, if it did come out over here, well, it would probably just be your standard Blu-ray case and that probably be it. So this is, <laughs> this is the one and the only Brian Redgrave. Uh, there was no digital code here, as you could tell. Now, I will let you know, um, I've, I've had Top Gun Maverick sealed to do a code giveaway for for months now, since like maybe October or November. I've been, I've not done it. I have that movie still to do. I watched that at the theater. I loved it. But I kind of want to talk about it, but I, it came out last June. My memories are a little foggy on it. So I was like, man, should I watch it and then do a video? Or maybe just do a video, just give away the code and move on. Yeah, but I, I will be having that coming up real soon. Right, Grave? Out. Well, I put in the Bleach movie in. I can watch it. Looks stunning. Blu-ray. It works on my PS5 and my Series X. But no English subtitles. So I'm letting you know in case you order it. I'm still happy I have it. Huge bleach, bleach fan. So, but I guess I still gotta watch it on Netflix. But really, this is really more of a collector's item, at least for me. So, 
You've been warned. It's not sub- up to you. I seen. See, it confused me because I seen some people say on Amazon that it had English subtitles. Maybe that's the DVD copy. I don't know. But why would the DVD have English subtitles and not the Blu-ray? That doesn't make any sense.